Good morning, let's do a, a Q&A today. I have a couple of viewer questions here that I'm gonna try to answer. First, I'm gonna try to find them. Um, I, I appreciate everyone who participated. Uh, the first question has to do with What was it? I didn't think the... Alright, first question. How do you like the Dyson? Is it worth the price? I have a T3 now, which I love and have... and had... love and had... for a few years, but once it's dead, LOL, was thinking of getting that. Uh... If you have long hair or a lot of hair, I think you'll really enjoy the uh, Dyson. You can buy one, take it home and try it and return it if you buy it from Ulta. I love it. It, it dries my hair fast. I believe that it does make my hair smoother. I love it so much I switch it back and forth between my vanity and my hair kit that I take when I go, when I do freelance. I have thought about buying another one so I can have one in my kit and one here at home, but I haven't pulled the trigger on it. I have a drawer full of hair dryers when I went through a stage of trying trying to find the perfect hair dryer. And so sometimes if I'm too lazy or I want to keep my kit intact and not tear it apart pulling the dryer out, I'll try one of the others and nothing compares. Nothing compares to the Dyson. It's fabulous. Pat bought it for me for uh, either a Valentine's, anniversary, Christmas, something like that as a gift because he knew I wouldn't spend that on myself for a dryer. So to answer your question, the uh, Dyson dryer, I, 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 think, I think I would buy, if I had to do over, I definitely would buy it. If I didn't have it, if somebody stole that dryer, I would definitely go out and buy another one. I love it. Okay, the other question was, uh, your hair appears so healthy. Do you use hair mask? No, I do not use hair mask. I never have ha have but wonder if hair masking helps with the frizzies. Uh, my number one tip for the frizzies is do not do uh, color that lifts. No bleaching, no highlighting. I only do color that deposits. I uh, wash my hair twice a week. I always use a smoothing shampoo and smoothing conditioner and I always use smoothing products when I blow my hair out. And uh, I do not, I don't air dry my hair. I use this brush and I use my Dyson dryer and I use Redken Frizz Dismiss and I use the Sexy Smooth Shampoo and the Sexy Smooth Conditioner. Uh, number one tip, it, uh, oh, and if you really like it sm smooth, I would use uh, the Orbe Royal Blowout. Uh, I'm out of it right now, it's an expensive product and I'm going to repurchase it. Love it. Your hair stays smooth until you wash it again. It's, it's almost on the, it's like have, almost like having a Brazilian blowout without the smelly chemicals. Anyway, so uh, no, I don't use hair masks. I don't have the time for that. Um, I just use the smooth shampoo and smooth conditioner and sometimes I use the Joyco Luster Lock and I just, put it in my hair and I guess it's a mask 
I don't know, but I don't use it as a mask. I put it in my hair and shave, and it takes me a little bit to shave because I shave from here to my toes. So, so that's the answer on the mask. What is your opinion on Olaplex products? Are they really all that fantastic? Do not know about the, uh, whether the Olaplex products are worth worth it or all that fantastic because when I was getting my hair highlighted, my uh, hairstylist refused to use it on me and I guess it was because she had to pay for that product herself and didn't want to invest her money in it. So therefore my hair was breaking off. So I don't know. I can't answer that question. I know that uh, when you use the Olaplex to highlight I think you have to bump up the volumizer. It's stupid. It buffers the the lifting, and therefore you have to bump up the lifting. Uh, the uh, the bring home products have no idea. I haven't used it. What I'm the, my current uh, little regime is working fabulous for me. And my Pat says my hair is always shiny, even when it's caked full of hair and my day to daily style i use this orbe freestyler and um even when my hair is caked with product like it is today it's still shining okay so that answers the question on olaplex uh, and then donna washburn was talking about going to get some mac products like lipstick eyeshadow uh, the lipstick. What was that lipstick that Blondie Locks and I were talking about? I'll have to put it right here when I edit. It's a fabulous lipstick. It's it's a great everyday go-to, never fail. What was that thing? I can't remember. Uh, and the eyeshadows. Um, let me go get my D potted eyeshadows. Blondie Locks, put the name of that uh, lipstick in the in the comments that you use every day and that I kept ask, I kept giving away to my uh, brides. Alright. Donna says she likes mauves. So I'll see what mauves. What mauves I have. Wow, I haven't pulled this thing out in forever and it's crumbled and shifted on each other. A really good mauve. Let's see, this is a good one. Nocturnal. That's kind, of, yeah, that's kind of a. Okay, Nocturnal's a good one. Check, go swatch that one at the Mac counter. It was good enough for me to put it in the kit. Deep Damson, Damson. That's a brownie purple. Deep Damson, maybe is what it's called. Uh, Sketch, maybe. Sketch is a good one. It's a brownie Moby purpley, reddy. It's a purpley brown. Uh, and here's one. This one is shadow, shadowy lady. Yeah, it's a, it's a purpley brown. That's a good one too. All right, now I'm going to go to, okay, so that, this one is browns. Boy, they're dirty. I need to wash them all. Wipe them all off. Okay, which ones did I really love in here? Oh, I love this one. This one's really pretty. This one is Embark. Embark's a pretty one. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see? I can't. I can't. I don't know if y'all can see it. Embark's a good one. Okay. And this one's pretty. 
This one's not foley. This one's not, uh, it's pretty. Really like that one. Okay. And then if you want a pop of warm color on your brow, this is a good one. Coppering. If you have a warm warmth in your brown eyes, that would be great to pull out the warmth in the warm sparkles in your eyes. That one's beautiful. I may leave these out so I can use them. A good transitional color. Let's see, to go before you start buffing out. What is this one? Kid, there's kid. That's a good one. All right, so I've named enough of those. Uh, MAC lipsticks. I, I've tried to tell you that already. I can't remember that what that name is. I'll have to ask her. Eyeshadow, I've tried Studio Fix and love it. I tend to go with browns and mauves. I have dark brown eyes and highlighted blonde hair. All right, uh, that's all the questions I have. I can't remember the name of that uh, lipstick that Blondie Locks mentioned that she and I were using so much there for a while that I kept giving away to, to brides. Angel's a good one. Brave is a good one. Uh, if, if you like light, cream cup's a good one. Angel, Brave. I can't remember that other one. Anyway, I'll put it here when I edit and I hope you enjoyed this little Q&A, and we'll talk to you later. Ta -ta. I have it now. I know what it is. It's myrrh. Myrrh is the color that uh, Blondie Locks and I like for every day. It never fails. So, and I don't think it needs a lip liner. Um, I'll bring, I'll bring the... But I'm Gerald, yeah. and I can always have just what I want. Yeah. She's the baddest, I would love to flaunt. Take her shopping, you know Eve Saint Laurent. But nope, nope. she ain't with it though. That's all because it. she got her own dough. Right. Boss, That's boss, if you don't know, she day. can never ever be a broke. You don't own me. Peace. Peace out. I'm just one of y'all many toys. You don't own